This video will show how to view, create, and edit rations within the AgResult system. So as you probably know, a ration is just a formula of commodities that you want to feed to your animals. So we're going to just jump right in and begin creating a new ration. On the left menu, you want to go to your herd section and find the rations option. Once you're on that page, you will see all existing rations within this location of AgResult. Click the plus button to begin creating a new one, and this is going to give you a couple pieces of information here to provide a ration name. So we're going to call this March 2021. We can choose the heat of the ration, and we can choose a nutritionist partner. This is going to link back to the partner that we created before called Nutritionist A. And then this historically is just going to be able to link all um, rations to this nutritionist so that we can historically find all rations linked to this nutritionist is what I meant to say. If we want to um, default this ration at a, at a location, we can do that with this checkbox. This is, that would automatically populate this ration um, when feeding in this location. We're going to leave that deselected at this point. And then usually the next step is to know how many commodities make up this ration and add four rows if that's how many commodities. And then in each row, we can choose which commodity we want to use. So we recently created high moisture corn 2021. We're going to make this 50% of the ration. And um, barley silage, we're going to make 25% of the ration. Corn gluten, we're going to make 10% of the ration. And distiller, uh, let's, let's do A. This is obviously an example, 15% um, of the ration. So as you can see, the, the third column here is mixing order, and this is going to describe at what order do you, does, do you want the system to tell you to mix this commodity. Um, when you are mixing, you will be able to mix in any order or switch orders or mix the same commodity multiple times out of order. It's all fine, but this is just the beginning um, that the system is going to set you up with. So once you create that ration, it's going to take you and show you that ration. So at the top left, you're going to see all the information that you entered previously. Um, obviously, this is test information. Um, but the total dry matter percentage of this ration is calculated to be 63.5. That is accurate based on the commodities you selected and their dry matter percentages and what they make up of this ration. So it's a weighted percentage, dry matter percentage of this ration. Probably a pretty good indication of the heat of this ration but consult your nutritionist for for the details um, and if you have any questions about your ration development definitely use your nutritionist um, as the source for any um, you know details about that the system here that you're looking at is just storing the information that your nutritionist provided it's not the source of the information um, that's important for the health of the animals the top right is a little glorified calculator to try to predict how much it's going to cost to feed this ration. So if you're viewing any ration, you will have this little box at the top right, but it will be based on that ration, obviously. And it's a good comparison tool to tell you an estimation or a projection as to what would it cost you if you fed this for the life of an animal. So days on feed, you can change that. So let's say we're only going to feed 100 days. This is going to tell you how much it's going to cost you per head for 100 days. If this is useful if you have maybe a nutritionist that gave you two rations that are the same heat, the same mega cal, and but they're made up a little bit differently because you have some some um, different commodities on hand, and it turns out that one of them is going to be cheaper than the other, and they're going to probably perform well based on your nutritionist's recommendation. Um, this is all something nutritionists probably could give for you in advance, but it's at least a tool for you to look at here to see and compare. And then the bottom here, the meat of it, um, it is the commodities that you previously entered um, and how much of each of them make up this commodity. Oftentimes, I'm going to switch gears into creating another ration, and oftentimes a, you need to create a new ration with um, slightly different um, percentages or mixing order or something. As you can see, you cannot change these, or maybe you can't see that currently, but I'm going to tell you that you can't change these values. These are set in stone, and the reason for that is it's important for the system to have them set in stone. Um, so if you do need to tweak these, you need to click this little blue button and hit the green button that says create a new ration similar to this one. 
it's going to open up the create dialog that we did previously um, and effectively this is going to create a new ration but it's going to allow you to change this to be 55 percent and this to be 20 percent if that's the change you need to make and we can save this now we have a second one and this new ration is march 2021 v2 and this is going to have your new percentages and now you can use this ration to feed if you want to edit this ration like i said before you can't edit those commodities but you can change the name and the type and you can deactivate it if you're ready to deactivate it deactivating it will just drop it out of any selecting like drop downs and things like that it doesn't break any of the previously used feed uh, loads that did use this ration it's just an organizational tool 